Air Chief Marshal A.P. Singh and Army Chief General Apendra Dravedi took a thrilling flight in the LCA Tejas ahead of Aero India. 2025, with General Dravedi calling it the best moment of his life and praising the IF's challenges. He even dubbed A.P. Singh his guru, joking about switching to the Air Force. The U.S. consulate announced that the United States will showcase advanced aircraft like the F-16 and F-35 at Aero India 2025, highlighting the growing defense and aerospace partnership with India. Over two dozen U.S. exhibitors will engage with Indian counterparts, while a U.S. Air Force band will perform during the event. At Aero India 2025, India unveiled the Naval Anti-Ship Missile Medium Range, NASM MR, a key advancement in indigenous defense developed by DRDO. Integrated with the MiG-29K, the versatile missile boosts India's maritime combat capabilities, offering a 300 km range and enhancing naval strategy and self-reliance. Embraer will showcase its KC-390 Millennium Tanker aircraft at Aero India 2025, aiming to boost India's air-to-air -air refueling capabilities and enhance the IF's operational efficiency. With versatile features and a 26-ton payload, the KC-390 is poised to strengthen India's strategic reach and foster deeper defense collaboration. A young innovator from Puttur has designed an advanced single-person drone equipped with a machine gun aimed at enhancing soldiers' safety and bolstering national security. Developed by Konark Rai under the Make in India initiative, the drone shows promise for counterterrorism and anti-Naxal operations with successful test demonstrations. Industry insiders believe that recent advancements in India's defense electronics mark a significant step toward self-reliance, decreasing reliance on imports and boosting local production. Aero India 2025 is spotlighting India's technological progress, particularly in AI, autonomous systems, and UAV warfare. Among the innovations featured were the autonomous multimode amphibious drone for naval reconnaissance, AI-powered mission planning tools, and the MBC-2 swarm drone system reflecting India's growing capabilities in AI-driven drone swarming. Experts suggest these developments support the Atmanirbha Bharat initiative and enhance tri-service operations. India's defense sector is also advancing in electronics and radar, presenting solutions like the P098 modem for secure communications, gallium nitride semiconductor technologies, and LTE-based passive radar systems. The Astra missile, naval anti-ship missile, and Rudram II further enhance India's military capabilities. In space, innovations like the Vikram-1 space launch vehicle and the Garuda mission satellite represent India's progress in military applications of space tech. The defense industry is also modernizing infantry with technologies such as multispectral camouflage nets, AI-driven control systems, and advanced protective gear, all focused on improving combat effectiveness and soldier survivability. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, has received interest from 25 Indian companies for the development of a new jet engine, marking a key step towards enhancing India's self-reliance in aerospace technology. GTRE is preparing to collaborate with foreign OEMs to create an advanced engine for the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Program, AMCA. These companies bring valuable expertise in handling high-temperature materials vital for manufacturing engine components like turbine blades and combustion chambers, which must endure extreme conditions. Many have long worked as suppliers to global aerospace manufacturers, giving them the necessary skills. In addition to manufacturing, the companies have expertise in quality control, testing, and system integration, contributing to the AMCA engine's reliability and performance. Their involvement supports the Make in India initiative by promoting domestic manufacturing, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers, and fostering technology transfer and skill development in India's aerospace sector. GTRE will manage the engine development process to ensure it meets military standards and objectives. This local production strategy is pivotal for positioning India as a key player in the global aerospace industry. The successful creation of a high-performance indigenous engine will be a crucial milestone in the AMCA project and India's drive for technological self-reliance.
Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL has achieved a significant milestone in developing the Tejas MK-1A fighter jet by successfully completing testing of the Yeltiel ELM 2052 ASA radar. Developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, ELTA Systems, this advanced radar will enhance the light combat aircraft with improved combat capabilities. The integration of the radar involved rigorous testing to ensure compatibility with the aircraft's upgraded avionics and weapon systems. Simultaneously, HAL is working on integrating the Astra MK-1 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, BVRAM, onto the Tejas MK-1A. The Astra MK-1, which has demonstrated its capabilities on the earlier Tejas MK-1, will soon undergo test firings to boost the aircraft's armament. These trials, scheduled in the coming weeks, will ensure optimal missile performance with the new ASA radar before delivery to the Indian Air Force. The integration of the ELM-2052 ASA radar and Astra MK-1 missile are major advancements for the Tejas program. These developments reflect India's focus on strengthening its indigenous defense capabilities with the Tejas MK-1A, now equipped with enhanced radar and weapon systems, playing a vital role in securing India's airspace. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL is developing a new high-altitude long-endurance, HAL, unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, designed for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and precision strikes. This project aims to position HAL's UCAV alongside the General Atomics Predator Sea Avenger, a prominent platform used by the U.S. military. The new UCAV will combine stealth technology, high speed, and enhanced survivability, enabling it to operate in contested airspace at higher speeds and altitudes than current UAVs. HAL envisions it as a multi-role, long-endurance system capable of a variety of missions, including wide-area surveillance, precision strikes, and challenging military and civilian tasks. A key feature of the UCAV is its stealth capabilities, which will allow it to evade enemy radar and anti-aircraft systems, crucial for ISR operations. Its high altitude and endurance will support extensive surveillance, without frequent refueling or repositioning, and it will be equipped for time-sensitive strikes in both land and maritime environments. The UCAV is likely to be powered by HALS HTFE 25 turbofan engine or the MPO Saturn AL-55 engine, offering the thrust needed for high-speed operations. This nearly 5-ton aircraft represents a significant leap in India's aerospace industry, reinforcing the country's focus on developing indigenous unmanned aerial capabilities. At Aero India 2025, India revealed a full-scale model of the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, its domestically developed fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. This marks a significant step toward self-reliance in defense technology. Developed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, the AMCA is a twin-engine multi-role fighter designed to meet the Indian Air Force's future needs. Weighing 25 tons, it incorporates advanced technologies, such as an AI-powered electronic pilot, net-centric warfare systems, an internal weapon bay, and integrated vehicle health management for predictive maintenance. The AI-powered electronic pilot enhances situational awareness, assists in combat decision-making, and coordinates with unmanned aerial vehicles. Aero India 2025 also features strong international participation, particularly from the United States with over two dozen American exhibitors engaging in collaborations with Indian counterparts. The U.S.-India Defense Partnership has grown significantly since 2023, with increased cooperation in areas like cybersecurity, logistics, and maritime security. A high-level U.S. delegation, including General Kevin Schneider of the U.S. Pacific Air Forces, emphasized the importance of this partnership. U.S. defense technologies on display include the F-16, F-35, and B-1 bomber. Additionally, the U.S. Air Force Band of the Pacific will perform for the public during the event, adding a cultural aspect. That's all from YKS Team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. 
You can also become our channel member and support our work. Thanks for watching.